So in the last episode, you guys saw some unreal, I mean, ripless, believe it or not, plays. It all started in week number 10 here against Virginia Tech. We had that unbelievable catch where Desmond Howard faked the play and acted like he was going out of bounds. And he came back inbounds and took it to the house. So when we played Virginia Tech, it was a pretty good game, you know. But at the end, obviously with our defense... We came up short and took the loss 44 to 34. Then we headed out to Virginia in week number 11. And this was the game where we let out all of our anger, all of our steam, and came up on top as Desmond Howard made catch after catch for a touchdown. That one was a short game. This one was me going deep with two seconds remaining to win the game. And it didn't get any better than that. It didn't get any more clutch than that as Desmond Howard brings us the victory in week number 11. You know, this wasn't really the season that I was hoping to have record-wise because obviously at the end of the day, we're not going to be playing in a good bowl game. But picking up victories is always a good feeling as we pick this one up with the score of 42 to 35. So next up, we have the University of South Florida. They have a 3 and 6 record. We have a 6 and 4 record. So this is probably going to be an easy matchup. And taking a look at a Heisman score, only one more milestone left, which is 155 receptions. And that is exactly what we are going to try to do here. Quarterback is going to throw a crazy pass right there as I am there for the first touchdown of the game so we're making it look pretty easy right here in the first quarter then we're gonna do a little j hook right there get a reception and we're gonna come right back with the slant and the slant with the 99 speed that desmond howard pretty much has you know i'm gonna pretty much say he has a 99 speed those slants are automatic plus 10 yardage so it always works the coach always goes after those and picks the secondary with the same play back to back plays and that is exactly what we did in this game so already three touchdowns for desmond howard the score is 14 to 21 quarterback is gonna go deep and the speedy desmond howard makes another unbelievable catch you saw him juggling the ball and that is what comes with nsa 13 this year all new animations make the game 10 times more fun as desmond howard Pretty much leads the team one more time in week number 11, which I'd say 12, with the score of 48 to 24. So we are finally simulating into week number 13, and that is the last regular season game. And we are finally jumping right after that. We're going to be jumping into the bowl game. And, you know, it really takes away a lot from the video, the fact that we're not playing the conference championship game and probably a decent bowl game. We're just going to have to see what happens. But, you know, I am trying to make these videos a little interesting and uh, I feel like the fact that we had a bad record in the Heisman Challenge this season really took away a lot from these videos. So chasing Heisman, everything is complete. The Heisman watch, I believe the last eight weeks, I've been at the top alongside with Alabama's running back. So Trent Richardson left. They still have a good running game in Alabama. Now let's take a look at the conference standings. I am fourth. And with the record that Georgia Tech and North Carolina has, that is a long shot for me to play in the conference championship game. But other than that, the last game of our regular season is coming here against the University of Duke 6-5 and five record. season so far and it'll only get better as the bowl picture comes into focus here late in the season all right we're gonna be cutting to the right side but oh the defender is right there you know i can honestly tell you right now uh i guess that is my fault i called for the ball but i did not see the defender coming in there and making a jump for the interception but still in the second quarter here the ball is going deep and as it was falling down I was right there to make the reception, which led us to, you know, tying up the game 7-7. Seven to seven, Still in the second quarter with two minutes remaining. We're going to try to get another drive going as Desmond Howard is already over 100 yards. And then the quarterback is going to find me here wide open. Nobody is ahead of me as I go in for the second touchdown of the game. 17-7. to seven. I am left wide open once again. So the secondary is suffering. But then here's a play right here where I do make the reception. But it was a force out, but they didn't really call it. So 
That led Duke to get another touchdown. So it's 24 to 21. Anything can happen here. But at the fourth quarter, at the end of the game, we ran out the clock. Took advantage of all of our possessions late in the game. And we won our last regular season game with a score of 24 to 21.